Hello, YouTube Frogs. How are you guys doing? Bonjourissimo, YouTube Frogs. Today, we're going to be checking out Saivo's Deletes His Lost Ark Characters. Uh, I watched a little bit of this uh, off stream, but uh, this is all genuine, 100% uncut reactions after 37 seconds or like a minute or something. Um, let's dive in. But also, be first, before we dive in, look, look, look at all the cute little frogs in chat. This could be you. Unless you decide to never, ever come to Twitch, in which case, um, I'm going to haunt you when I die. And the rest of your family. Serious note as to why I, I only have four characters is because I, um, I cannot afford from now on to uh, sort of play more characters. I really want to do everything on these four characters and be understand. very diligent about, you know, my main character. And if I have other characters that I, that I, that I see there on a daily basis, I sort of feel a little bit obliged to, uh, to do whatever is needed to be done. Like this, I just want to maybe sort of pretend for the time being uh, that I don't have them. I'm going to have three characters. Like one, two, I three, like four, Lopang, and then this one character that's going to be pushed forward uh, as we go along with more gear progression. If I cannot make it in Lost Ark... Oh, with, damn, he, uh, actually del wait, he actually deleted his characters? Wait, he actually just straight up, like, Thanos snapped his roster? Wait, that's crazy. Oh my god, Giga Chat. Oh, they're hidden? You can Wait, you can hide them? How do you hide them? I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do. What the fuck? That's crazy. No, it's not it's not full uh it's not fully deleted. That's crazy. Oh, delete without confirm. Oh, interesting. I don't know you could do that. I mean, I feel like this makes sense. A lot of people have been doing doing this. Like, I feel like even people in chat have been trying to like downsize their roster and like just play like less characters. Because like we're getting to the point in the game now where like sustaining like six characters at like a massive item level requires you to like honestly play hyper efficient, but also have never ever played a new class. Like just straight up, like you can't. If anything new came out, you just never played it. You know what I mean? Like you actually just like have the roster like juiced up. Or so you just had like you know what I mean? You you'd never really like try new classes or ever like stop like the efficiency. At item level 1490, 1540, 1540. I already sent a ticket to get back his um, To sort of get to the Akan point, then that means I shouldn't be here. On top of that, there is another reason yeah, why sense. I don't want to play the other characters is because they suck. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Compared to other people that I want to play with and their characters, those characters suck. Even though I know I can get carried, even though I know I don't need more than level 5 gems for my Valt and Vika's Cuckoo. So I, I understand all of that. But at the same time, I want to have a good time. Saibo's a Giga Chat, dude. He's straight Giga keeping himself. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. He actually just flat out says it. He's like, he doesn't want to play with people who are not built correctly, but he refuses to, to like, Put himself be like the person who gets carried you know what i mean i actually respect that that's I'm, actually a good chat mentality feeling that's actually a good chat mentality my shadow hunter or whoever else my war dancer and they are not there yet so because of that and until i have the resources to get all of those characters there then i don't want to do it it's just me personally you don't have to do it like this this is not the most efficient okay, way i, see. I don't give a fuck lead, about efficiency korean release was completely different it had more time for you to set up all of these little fun things that you do on the side. Up until the point where, where their release got very busy as well. They had that time also. But setting up a, a roster level, setting up a, a, a series of characters, deciding what characters to play on, this was done gradually. And now if we take that example and we apply it to our Western release when we just had a year and four months of this game and we already have so much and we want so much and we need to do so much um that's not a good way to go here part of the problem and why people are so fucking obsessed and desperate about lost ark and this release in the west is part because of the people because they themselves cannot really tone down they see all of these examples with like uh, six characters at 1560 and they think that that's what they should be doing also unfortunately the thin line in between balancing what you give to players and a very fast-paced release in lost ark 
is almost impossible to manage because of the real money element. And these are the examples that you get to see around you. Hey, I also want that. That guy's not gonna wanna play with me anymore. And that's true. Then you get gatekept. You get even more bored because you played for like 10 hours a day just to get gatekept. Um, and then you're wondering to yourself, like, what's the point of all of it? Um, and there is no solution except do not release Lost Ark in the West. It was very intense what we had so far. And those of you who made it, I congratulate you for your strong mental up here. With my whatever, 8 hours, 10 hours of game time every day since February. Um, I can say that I did not have enough sort of time to do the things that, or to do the things in peace that I really enjoyed. I wanted to have a little bit more time, but giving me more time means a slower release, which might have upset some other people. It's a, it's a complicated uh, situation that we had here in the West. And these are my thoughts on the company's fault versus the player's fault for creating a hundred fucking characters. You create a hundred characters, I told you a million times, alts are a long-term investment. If you, if you want to play your alts for a year and a half and only then leave them at the level of an alt. I will say though, I think the problem with the game is that everyone keeps calling alts investments. I think that has to change, dude. And that's not like, however they design the game again, like whatever they do to change this game or fix it in the future, we like it has to be that investments and alts are not in, used in the same sentence. I've never ever played a game where everyone kept referring to an alt as an investment. Yeah, they are investments. They are. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's wrong that I'm not saying it's a problem that he said it. It's that that's how what they are. They are investments. That's the problem is that alts are investments. Alts shouldn't be investments. They should just be alts. <laughs> you know what I mean? In no other MMO where you play alts have I ever heard somebody call an alt an investment ever in BDO in fucking uh, WoW, in Final Fantasy, in fucking any other game. Law, uh, RuneScape, ever. I've never, ever, 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 ever in any game heard anyone call an alt an investment except this game. And I'm not saying it's not. They are investments. That's the problem. Is that that's what an alt is. It's not an alt, it's an investment. Alt? Then do that, but that's a lot of grind. That's what I did, basically. Almost succeeded uh, even as well. Because I have uh, five characters that can be at the point where you can farm I mean, an alt is a time investment, but you don't think of it as a time investment, right? In this game, it's an actual financial investment. You're con you're comparing your time to how much money you're going to spend and then how much they make you and stuff. It's it's a completely different way of looking at it. Things. I want to have more fun. And I'm allowing myself to have more fun, aka do horizontal stuff, do a lot more Inferno content, get a bit into PvP content. By not, by not giving myself so many chores. Is that good? Yes, it's very good. Is it efficient in our Western release? No, it's not. But it doesn't matter. I don't care. Base you want to have side five mains, base six mains. You want to do your Legion raids on six characters because it makes you happy and you also get to take full advantage of what's being offered by Lost Ark. Please, feel free to do that. I encourage that. It's good. It's cool. You want to do Legion raids on more than six characters because you have the time or it simply makes you happy. You're a happier person. Then do that. I'm not happy doing that. I'm actually very unhappy doing that. And I've been unhappy since the beginning of our Western release, which is also one of the many reasons why I kind of stopped doing a lot of YouTube content about Lost Ark because I wasn't that happy as to what I'm doing on a daily basis because I had to. The problem is not how many characters, times, how many... No, that, that's just one of the little problems. There's many other problems. Wrong examples is a problem. No ceiling is a problem. Uh, too many things to focus on is a problem. There's a lot of other problems. It's not my daily quests. Ooh, did I hear someone asking how can Lost Ark be saved and get people or get many of the people who have quit back we're not gonna get into details base cyber boys is this live uh the vid no is a video also not investments they never earn back the gold uh you, you use on them i mean they could be the thing is that that's the thing is that alts could be used that way they actually can if depending on how you play them they actually can be but it's always either investment it like and the thing is it is an investment because you're investing your gold into it like you're investing like alts have to be separate i find this like the characters should literally 
exist like just separate from each other. You should play alts solely 110% because you want to. No other reason. There should never be any other ulterior reason. Because the thing is that, yeah, if you push a f six characters to 1540, paying them off takes forever. Probably never, right? But you can just play characters at like 1370 and just like, or like 1415 and just like earn like a very basic amount of gold with very little investment and in actually pushing them up. And that would make a fuck ton of money for your account because you don't have to pay. Like they would just, they're only spawning money into the game. They don't do anything else besides do that, right? The thing is, is though, is that because of how the game kind of works, you end up just... Anyways, it's a whole other thing. I don't feel like, going, I, feel like I, I repeat this way too much. So tier 4, but made for players to have fun. I agree with that. I think I think the game needs a wipe. I'm going to be honest. The game needs a, a, a big-ass wipe. A lot of the money alts make go back. Uh, is in bond mats as well. Yeah, that's true. Peacock's shard value, it's massive. It just uh, doesn't lend itself to funneling uh, your main or something. All my alts paid themselves back uh, because they're all... Yeah, exactly. That's a, that, exactly. You just play like a bunch of 1475 characters. That's how you get the people back. Yeah. That's how you get the... That's how you That's how you relaunch Lost Star. You, you need... Whether they do a wipe or however they end up doing it. I think getting rid of legacy content. So getting rid of like uh, all the like... You know, all these Legion Commanders that you were running forever that are like have massive legacy attached to them that the hard part is also just like getting people into the game that come back or whatever that don't know how the fuck to do any of this shit right and i also think a gear reset i think i think creating a new floor for people to like come in and shit i think would be huge i think that would be absolutely fucking massive the only way changing uh daily quests uh, three into one with three times the rewards yeah it's nice it's a nice thing thank you Giving double the rewards for each Chaos Dungeon, so you would so you would only have to do one a day. Thank you. Um, season 2, when whenever Season 2 came about, which is what you guys are playing now, um, basically Lost Ark got relaunched. And it was a gigantic buzz around the game. Many people came back and they did a lot of things that people hated in Season 1. They did them differently in Season 2. Of course, alongside some mistakes as well, which, no, nah, it happens. What are seasons? Um, so season three. Seasons were like, it's just imagine like a giant wipe. So it was like, there's different tiers, right? It was tier one, tier two, where like, there was like actual wipes. Seasons was imagine, think of it like an expansion is what it sounds like. Uh, season one was how the game used to be, which is was like no Legion Commanders, Guardians were in-game content. Uh, like the way life skilling and even like sailing worked was completely different. The way you got gear and sets were completely different. And then season two is what we're playing. That's what we are experiencing with Legion Commanders and all that stuff. We never experienced season one. Season one didn't exist in our in our in our region. Playing lots as an investment is gross. Uh, there's zero fun in that. Uh, that's very true. But that's kind of part of the game too. If you unless you do like Helmwater PvP, um, you end up also just kind of playing characters because like that's just what it is. When is it Carol only? Uh, I think it's ages ago. Yeah, exactly. Season 2 is where we're at. E or TR4 oh, are you or one whatever as well? you want to call it. Um, in my opinion, is the only way to sort of re-kickstart Lost Ark. Ooh. And it has to be global. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I get Season 3 today. Korea gets Season 3 today. Okay? Yeah. That would be amazing. And that's it. Who's up for a Belshazzar? I agree with that. I'm gonna be honest. I think that's. I think that actually makes a lot of sense. I don't think that like it's any of that sounds like fucking crazy or that like <laughs> like too far fetched or whatever. I think it's just pointing the game more towards like doing things because it's fun. I think the the funneling of mats needs to like chill out. I don't think alts should benefit each other. I think alts should just exist and you just play them because they they're just fun to play and that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Um, and it would be cool if we do get like a, a big ass wipe and they kind of make it global, even if afterwards we get the content a little bit after Korea, or if ahead of time they would be able to actually like lo like you know what I mean? we get like a pause in content for a bit, they ahead of time localize a bunch of shit and then release it simultaneously globally. I think that'd be really really interesting. I don't think anything that will ever happen though, because I do think Lost Ark just kind of I think what's going to end up happening is it's going to be more of the same kind of forever, just because of the fact that they've kind of spread themselves out so thin. They have RU version, R version, their own version, China version, uh, Japan version. 
uh, there's actually just like a ridiculous amount of versions of Lost Ark. So I don't know how the fuck they do that, to be honest. It seems like it's a nightmare to do, especially dealing with, you know, uh, five different publishing companies and shit. Like, it, it seems like I have no idea how you would ever do any of that. You know what I mean? Make a global version release. The thing is, there's always going to be like a delay between, uh, like, Korea and the rest of the world. And... Like, I don't know how they, like, I don't know, I guess maybe it is that easy, but I don't know. I don't, like, I don't know the difficulties of, like, localizing something through, like, five different, like, publishers. You know what I mean? There are way too many different regions. It's spread uh, too thin. Like, yeah, exactly. They kind of, like, overdid it. So it's hard to do anything except what they're doing now, where they just, like, release things in, like, blocks, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? What's up, Tiny Twist? Like alts, but I would like uh, like him more to have one character that can uh, morph into other characters. Yeah, that'd be cool. I agree with that. That'd be fun. To actually have like a main character that you identify with that's like your actual main. That'd be kind of cool. I 100% agree with that. Only the current Lynch Commanders uh, should be relevant since uh, we have to ki uh, kill the others already. So why make make them homework? And if they... Let me select one character or any, any amount of them for rewards would be perfect. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I think that would be pretty cool. It's hard again. It's like it would take like fundamental changes to the game, and it, it is a lot more complicated to actually be done than it is to be said. You know what I mean? But uh, I do think the game kind of needs a reset, even if they just keep it in the exact same system that it is now. The game needs to be reset, I think, and it should be reset like every so often. I think like every year, every two years, the game needs to actually just have it have a reset that like lets new people get in at a, at a base on the on the, like on the floor, kind of like how most ex MMOs have expansions. Stuff like that is important. People like dude, how many of your friends? How many of you guys? jump into WoW whenever a new expansion comes out. Maybe not you guys. I don't know if it hits the same demographic as you guys, but you guys, are, I'm sure, are at least aware that that happens. You know what I mean? Um, I think this game needs that because I think it's just kind of healthy for a game to like for everyone to like come back in at a somewhat fair level, right? It's obvious, obviously isn't because the people who kept playing will always have an advantage with gold and other things, right? Which is fine. But being able to just start on a ground floor where, like, you don't know all the raids, you don't know all the dungeons, uh, you're all at a similar item level, like, shit that, like, you're just kind of similar. And on, like, a somewhat relevant, like, relatively equal floor, and so you can go up together. You know what I mean? I mean, a perfect example is Lost Ark itself, right? How many of you guys played Lost Ark because you guys like playing a game when it's new? You guys like getting in on the ground floor. You know what I mean? I think stuff like that is important to the game. However, to not ramble on too much in this video... If you guys are new around here, be sure to that motherfucking subscribe button. Like the videos if you like them. Come check out the streams. Otherwise, I will haunt every single person you ever have in your family. I will haunt your grandparents. I will haunt you guys, your kids, your dogs. They will all be haunted by me. Unless, of course, you click that little funny little link in the description box down below. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Lie-lie.